The upgraded E616P is durable and easy to assemble. And the following parts are required for installation. The Zoom Free, Motor Set, Control System, Power System, and some necessary tools. Accessories welding. Before assembling the Zoom Free, it's necessary to weld the motors and the FC power plug. The following steps use motor welding as an example. First, insert the motor cable into the shrinking tube, then into the plex tube, another shrinking tube, and finally, use a heat gun to secure them. Next, insert the plug sheets onto the cables, use a welding fixture to secure the plug, and solder the female header to the cables, ensuring the correct polarity of positive and negative. Solder the remaining parts in the same way. Install the drill free. Step 1. Remove the cover and control board. Turn the drill body over. Then remove the distribution board cover. Step 2. Install the XT90 cable and holder and fix the cable to the drill body. Please ensure correct polarity of positive and negative. Step 3. Install the power holder but do not tighten the screws at this stage. Then restore the cover. Install the landing gear. Step 1. Place the power holders on the struts of the landing gear and insert them into the mounting seat at the rear of the drone body. Tighten the mounting seats and all the screws. Install the rest of the holders and struts in the same way. Step 2. Install the mount or battery compartment or board onto the landing gear strut. Step 3. Know that the side with the screws faces outward. Insert the course bar into the bottom of the struts and tighten the screws. Install the arms and motors. Step 1. Slide the arm tube into the folding part and fix it with screws. Step 2. Install the arm tube cam as arm folding point and insert the locking cap. Step 3. Install the A8X motor set, pass the cables through the arm tube and the folding part, and secure the motor to prevent it from falling off. Step 4. Install the arms. Know the installation position. The camera is on the front of the drone, from left to right. The positions are M1 to M6. Install CW motors at M1. M3 and M5 and install CCW motors at M2, M4 and M6. Step 5. Install the arms with the screw side facing up. Remove the locking cap. Insert the arm and ensure the holes are aligned and reach the hole limit. Secure the plugs, tighten the locking caps and screws. Then install the remaining arms after that, turn the drone body over and fix the screws. Install the battery compartment or the board. Install the battery compartment. Install the aluminum tube at the bottom of the compartment. Know that the threaded side of the bottom board should face upward and align with the smaller screw hole on the tube. Then tighten the screws. Step 2. Install the cover on the uneven side of the bottom board Use a hinge to connect the cover and the bottom board. Make sure the threaded side faces outward. Step 3. Install the knob shaft on the compartment 3. Step 4. Fix the bottom board to the compartment 3. Make sure the compartment outlet is facing the correct direction. Then tighten the screws. Step 5. Install the zip tie on the installation board and place it into the compartment. If a payload device is needed, install the payload mount on the aluminum tube at the bottom of the compartment. Finally, install the compartment onto the fixed adapters. Make sure the compartment outlet faces the rear of the drill. Then move the adapter to the position hole and tighten the screws. Install the battery board. First, move the adapter to the position hole, then tighten the screws. Next, fix the side boards onto the bottom board and install them on the fixed adapter. Finally, tighten the screws. Install flight control. Step 1. 
use 3M glue to secure the main controller in the center of the board, ensuring the arrow faces the front of the drill. Insert the M1 to M6 motor single cables into the corresponding holes on the main controller. Step 2. Insert the smaller end of the power cable into the power socket and the other end into the power distribution board. Step 3. Secure the receiver. Insert one end of the signal cable into socket number 8 of the receiver and insert the other end into the flight control RC socket. Step 4. Install the GPS on the M3 arm. First, pass the GPS cable through the hole into the drum body. Then lock the GPS in place. Insert the GPS cable into the main controller. Step 5. Insert the LED cable into the main control board and use 3M glue to secure the LED light in the position of the tail light cover. Step 6. Finally, fix the flight control board to complete all installations. Flight debugging. Step 1. Level the assembler drum. Use a level to adjust the motors and tighten the screws. All three motors need to be leveled to prevent faults during flight. Step 2. Test for short circuits using a multimeter. If there is no whooping sound, it indicates that the power pack can be used normally. Step 3. Turn on the remote control and power on the drill. Before turning on the remote control, ensure the throttle stick is in the downward position. Then click the home button, go to system settings, stick mode, and set it as needed. After that, click Celebration and celebrate the joint sticks in turn. Step 4. Click Linkage Settings, Link, Start, then press the Link button on the receiver until the indicator light flashes, then green light indicates successful linking. Step 5. Click General Menu, Model Select, choose Model 1 and select multi culture for the model type, click Function, and channels 1 to 4 are default and do not need to be modified. Set channel 5 as mode and align the control button at SA. Step 6. Connect a laptop to set the parameters. First, power off the drone, then use a USB cable to connect the laptop and flight control. Open the WKG CS8 on the laptop. Click Connect in the top right corner. Choose Serial. Set the board rate to 115200. Then click Connect to begin parameter setting. Step 7. Power on the drum. Click Settings. RC Channel Settings. Move the SA joystick on the remote and check for any feedback from mode 5. Step 8. Click the once and enter the settings. Select free type, frame and choose 6 axis. Step 9. Click flight mode. Move the SA joystick and check for feedback from flight mode 146. Step 10. Click all parent, then click load from fire and load the recommended parameter form well. All parameters will be automatically set. Next, click GPS and input 15 for the z-axis and input the actual distance from the GPS center to the FC center on the y-axis. Step 11. Click key parameters and set the automatic descent voltage to 44.4 volts. Step 12. Click motor and turn the switch on. Move the slider. Check if the rotation direction is correct and listen for any strange noises when done. Flight control debugging is complete. Finally, restore the drone cover. Fly test. Put the drone outdoors. Install the propellers, ensuring that the rotation direction of the prompts and motors match. Then power the drone and perform the motor test. Push the drone sticks inward to unlock the motors. Then push the throttle stick to take off. Push the drone sticks in different directions to perform the flight test. Finally, pull back the throttle and land the drone. 
The June assembly is complete.